Hello, please join me as I put together the dining set of the Green Leaf Furniture Kit Set. Remove all six pieces for each one of the four chairs and all four pieces that are required for the table. First thing is to sand the entire sheet of wood, then gently removing each one of the required pieces. Also remove all pieces of wood that will reveal the interlocking slots. Sand all of the edges and wipe away any, any dust. I will be using Carpenter's wood glue to put together first the leg to the base of the, of the table. and glue on the entire surface. And then centering very carefully the bottom to the top plate of the table. Make sure that it sits flat on a surface. And I like using these closed pins to hold it together because they're not too hard and they won't bruise the wood. Now removing each one of the six pieces that are required for each one of the chairs. Since I want my dining set to look something like this, I think I should draw a design somewhat like that to the back of each one of the chairs. And I'm using a permanent marker. something like this and I'll do the same thing to all the other three. These are my four backs of the chair. With the toothpicks I am putting applying glue to those little slits on the chair seat. That's where the front chairs will go and that's pretty simple. They just go right in. Now the back legs are a little bit more uh, tricky because I, they're also the support of the back. And I have to make sure that all four legs are touching the floor and that they are straight. Just checking to make sure that they are all straight and it looks pretty good and it sits flat on the surface here are all four chairs drying in the meantime i'll get to work on the table by applying the first coat of paint i want this room this uh, dining set to be pretty dark when this dries it will be a little bit darker than it shows now and i will also apply the same paint to each one of the chairs. Also on the back of the chairs to soften a little bit that drawing that I made with the permanent marker. Now that the chairs are dry, it is time to glue the back. And I just have to be careful and make sure that I center it well. While the chairs dry, I'll apply the varnish. This is going to be the top coat of the chair. I want them to look a little bit shiny. Sometimes it will be covered with a tablecloth and sometimes it will not. And I even made a little design to um, pretend that it's the, the wood grain. It feels very smooth and I'll apply a second coat after I sanded it. These are the cardboard inserts that came with the set. Okay. You can use um, fabric that you find in a pencil case. 
You can use felt. I have a little piece that I cut out from a bag. It's fake leather. And these are go and I'm going to cut all of them and they will be the seat and the back of the chairs. To glue it, I will be using tacky glue. Oops, I think I put a little too much, but I can always take it, take a little bit away. Now this is the, the seat and this pleather tends to curl up. So I'm going to be holding it with the clothespins to make sure that the edges especially really adhere to the, to the seat. Now the table is ready and it looks, and it's firm and it looks very nice. And these are the chairs. Let's take them to the room and see what they look like in there. This room is really starting to look like a finished room. There's only a few more items and I'll take now the time to invite you to join us. Subscribe to this channel so that you can come with us as we continue to finish each one of the rooms on this dollhouse. Thank you very much for watching.